This is a very good tweet. Um, Miss Sasha Daniels on Twitter. And it says, genuine question. Zach has made a commitment to raise both that woman's children for Tame to Karen. Say she is to lose his child like some of you are predicting. I don't believe that's going to happen. Does the commitment to Aaron's child now fall away as well? Now, personally speaking, and let me know, I could be wrong about this, but if you ask me, hasn't it been a situation where it seems like everyone has been pushing the second child on Zach as well? Um, wasn't it like Fatima first, then it was Karen, and then after Karen told Zach, uh, Aaron about Zach talking crazy about what's mine is mine and what's yours is yours, Aaron decided to step to him as well. And it's like, no. No, Zach has no obligation to take care of both children. Now, that doesn't mean I don't see a situation where, you know, Zach would babysit both kids or something like that. I don't, I don't think that necessarily means that he's going to not act like his um his daughter's sibling doesn't exist but legally and whatnot he doesn't have to put a trust fund together for the second child he doesn't have to buy that child like their first car or her well, her first car she's pregnant with two baby girls things like that i i just hated the way that shit was written oh sorry didn't mean to cuss uh, in this video anyway, I just hated how that situation was written because it felt like everybody was bullying him to take care of the second child. Like, hey, you got Karen pregnant and so did Aaron. So y'all are responsible for both children. Now, Aaron wanting to be there for both kids, that's all well and good. That's well within his rights. But in terms of what has to be done or the quote unquote bare minimum, that Zach being there for his daughter. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, I don't think that if... um. If um, Karen does lose the baby that Zach's, he has to take care of the other child. That's just not in the cards. And I feel like if nothing else, Karen will go back to her old ways because she's going to lose the tether that held Zach to her for the rest of her life or their lives together. That child. Now, don't get me wrong. They'll definitely still, quote unquote, have a bond when they grieve the loss of that child. But it's just one of those things where um, I could definitely see Karen regressing, but at the same time, maybe they can write it in a way where she decides to double up the love on the child with Aaron, as opposed to reflecting on the child she lost, thereby losing Zach forever. So yeah, I, I just really was never a fan of the way it was written to have Zach having to be obligated to be there for both kids when that shouldn't and shouldn't be the case in terms of that being pushed on him. Like I said before, I don't think he's going to ignore the other child's existence, but the fact that, oh, it's a package deal. And it's like Michael grows up with both of his, you know, uh, kids. I mean, uh, what was, what did she say? Like, yeah, I want Michael to be involved with, um, growing up with Karen's kids as well. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, I mean, they can have play dates and all, but they really, <laughs> okay, here's a joke. Uh, here's, here's something. Okay. Here, how about this? If, um, if, uh, let's say Zach and Fatima have to go out somewhere. Do you think that Karen is going to take care of Michael and her twins? All that's all I'm saying. Because you're you're putting it in a way. Well, Michael isn't Karen's child. No, that's not her and Zach's child. Well, neither is the baby that's Aaron's. That's Karen and Aaron's child, not Zach and Karen's child. All I'm saying is you got to look at it from both ways. You can't sit up here and say that oh, Zach has to be there for both of those twins. And Michael, because they're his kids, even though one of the twins isn't his. And then the same can't be said about Aaron. I mean, Karen, where it's like, well, yeah, um, she's carrying one of Zach's children, but he needs to be there for both of the kids. But is she going to be there for Michael as well? And hey, I know the car seat and clothes thing that happened, but that was last season. I'm just saying that is something continuity wise. But at the same time, it's like I'm talking about, you know, cooking for him, taking care of him. Is that going to happen? I don't think so. But hey, what do I know? 
So yeah, I, I do feel like that whole force commitment is some BS. But yeah, thank you, uh, Sasha, for tweeting that. That is a very good tweet. I just had to do a quick video on it. So um, I feel like if nothing else, if Karen were to lose the child she has with Zach, and then it turns out Fatima's pregnant, oh Lord, it's going to be such such a return to this, um, you know, the bitter Karen because let you know good and well. It will eat her alive to have Zach, you know, taking care of Fatima hand and foot the entire pregnancy. Then when the baby's born, loving up on that child and she can only look from a distance because they'll never have that. Zach wasn't there for her the entire pregnancy, um, wasn't rubbing her feet or, you know, making her craving foods or things like that the guy that was wanting to be there to do all those things she kicked Aaron to the curb all while chasing after Zach so it would truly be disastrous to say the least but hey it is what it is it is what it is if um Karen did lose that child and Zach has no commitment to the other one and Fatima winds up pregnant. So that's I'm thinking that's the route they might go, but I doubt it because these writers that fans have pointed out are definitely like Team Zarin more than anything else. So we'll just have to wait and see how it turns out. But hey, as always, thanks for tuning in. I do appreciate it, if, especially if you made it this far into the video. If you did, make sure you hit, give it a thumbs up button to show you like it and hit subscribe. Uh, the numbers are not rising as quickly as they used to, but the numbers are indeed going up. So the subscriber count, the views, and it really does help, especially with sisters about to come to a close for however long, whether it be like December or January of 2025. I just want to make sure the channel maintains a good place in the algorithm. So comment your thoughts and I'll catch you all in the next video.